Hello everybody. Um, I have gotten myself a new microphone so I can give you everybody a commentary to go with my videos. I don't know how well you like my commentary or if you can hopefully everyone will be able to hear me but I figured I'd first give it a try on um, one of my levels uh, on this what we've got here is these are all the levels that I have currently shared in the workshop um, and <clears throat> excuse me I thought I would play the level lift bridge expert and try to explain what I'm doing and what I'm thinking as I play so without further ado we will continue on so um, this level I basically made because I wanted to really challenge uh, people's usage of hydraulics. Uh, I really, really enjoy making uh, hydraulic maps, and so this one here is limited to two hydraulics. You only have two points. You don't have much of a, a cliff to support on, and you have to lift a bridge up for this next car. So. Um, on the right side, we've got a ramp here that's put in to basically make it so you don't just have a little drop off where the van goes across and then kind of jumps over like the last bit and then they it just make just make, adds a little bit more difficulty, I guess. So this is all the road we have. Uh, basically, the split right here. That's pretty much our standard, and then. Um, what this bridge needs is, I haven't played this for a while, so this needs basically a understructure or a structure that supports the road itself, that it supports like the form of the road, make sure it doesn't bend and all that, and that it can support the van. And then you need a, essentially a secondary structure of some sort that actually lifts the entire road section upwards. Um, I've tip I've started doing, I've done a very similar build on, or a similar strategy on several of, of my builds recently. And I will get to that. Uh, apparently, I can't make things symmetrical without copy and paste. All right, so we're gonna start with this. I'm gonna make these wood here because I don't. And then we're going to zoom in here, and I want the frame to be fixed and I want the bridge to be separate. So let's play it make sure the van gets across this without breaking. I like to move most of the time I like to put everything on the 2D basically. I slide over that stayed. Um, not sure why. Let's see if it, this whole thing should fall off. Okay. Good. So what I typically do is I build a I'll build kind of uh, hinges that the whole bridge will go up, and then I bring, um, and then the hydraulic lifts them across the hinge. So rather than having your hydraulic go doing something like this and supporting it up here and then balancing your bridge off this one point, I uh, kind of build little little arms that the bridge is lifted along. I mean, certainly do this. Um, I've seen some solutions that work rather well for that. And I've made some myself, I believe, but this is always what I enjoy doing the most. Um, so the first thing you have to look at is how high your bridge is, um, and you have to think of that as how far you're going to lift the bridge. So, like if you look at here, this is the maximum length of a single hydraulic. Um, since they only compress 50%, um, you're, there is not a this goes too far to just have a single hydraulic on both sides and to lift the whole road up. So in order to combat that, you essentially have to have some kind of, you either need to uh, put two end to end, like such, 
or you need to have some kind of a lever arm, which I think is gonna be, I'll kind of do a combination of the two. So what I like to do for this is I find about the halfway point between the where I'm starting and where I'm going to, and I think and I find this midpoint here. And then I build a little diagonal piece right here, and then I create um, multiple copies of this. I'll put, I like to do three. Um, so I'll do two here and then one down here. And these essentially are going to be my pivot points for the bridge. And then I'm gonna redesign my frame to kind of incorporate those. Um, so, um, so this makes this a little smaller. And then let's go up here. And I might be able to, I don't know if I can get away with using cable there or not, but all right. Um, all right. So now what you should see is when you run, when this runs, then after this bridge breaks away, it will swing on all three of these. I'm gonna do shift. All three of these rods will swing all at once, and then, and you can see that the bridge has basically. It's kind of fixed uh, on a pivot that's these three points right here. So now what you have to do after this is basically attach it to anywhere you want really. Um, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go here and um, don't probably lift this guy up and go there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little lever arm right here. That will so this will kind of pull, and this will pull this one in, and it should lift this whole bridge up in unison. Okay, so my now I've got an issue with the fact that I use cables. So I thought that might have been an issue. Um, I need to have. It's solid to some extent. So, um, it's kind of starting to look like a spider web, but that works. And I'm just under my budget, so. So now you can see these, each of these three lift, and then it gets right to the center point, and it goes smoothly across, kind of. Now, uh, if I want to go a little further, I could stretch this, and I think I might be able to get a more smooth transition onto the road and off the road. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot better. Now, one thing you might wonder is, like, first off, if you did just two of rods here, then you you prevent your rocking, and. But there's another issue that happens that the third rod is essentially useful for. And that what happens is, if I can see if I can pause it, when it gets to this point, right about here, where these rods are in line with your road, this one here is kind of off, then, then it's easy for the whole system to kind of like start tipping over, as you can see it did right here. And then this obviously doesn't help you very much. So I solved that by having two basically in one plane or and then or in one, along one line which I guess two at any point would make a line. Um, so I guess the, the important part is that your third rod here is not in a perfect line with these other two. Um, and I suppose that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you I hope you liked my video and I'm thinking of uh, talking I'll probably talk a lot about hydraulics because I enjoy hydraulics a lot so I'll see you all next time